You're watching Pulse for the 19th or 20th of December and it's time for some Diablo news. In this week's episode we take a look at Blizzard's or Battle.net's new battle tag feature, the Diablo 3 beta patch 8, a quick Diablo 3 vs Torchlight 2 comparison and more. Let's get started. I'm going to start the news off this week with something that's definitely not exclusively Diablo related, but it is definitely Battle.net related, and hey, that's something we need to know about. So Blizzard are pleased to introduce Battle Tags. This is a new way for players to identify themselves and communicate on Battle.net. Now that does indeed sound interesting, and it is quite simple to explain. A Battle Tag is a unified player chosen nickname that'll identify you across all of Battle.net in all the Blizzard Entertainment games, on their official websites, in their forums, and anywhere else they choose to use it in the future. Now this is basically exactly like the real ID system, except you're not using your real name anymore. So that's pretty cool, and I think it's going to work out a lot better. The battle tag system will be using a four-digit identifier code that gets linked to your nickname, similar to how StarCraft 2 does their nicknames right now. That means you can have tons of people with the same nicknames, they're just going to have different identifier codes. So the feature is live right now, and we've been told that in the future it will be integrated in all the Blizzard games. You can set your battle tag up right now if you head on over to the account management page, but I will warn you that it's only actually active and working in the Diablo 3 beta at the moment. One last thing I'll tell you before we move on is that battle tags won't be replacing Real ID. Real ID will still continue to work as it always has once battle tags have been rolled out. So if you are interested in learning more about battle tags or setting yours up right now, you can check Blizzard's post regarding this feature out below. There's an entire FAQ to have a look at, so I'd say if you are in fact interested, it's well worth taking a peek at. Now we're going to move on to the first of the proper Diablo related news. We're going to talk about Diablo 3 Beta Patch 8. So the biggest feature of this latest patch, battle tags. Yes, we just had a long talk about that, so I'm not going to talk too much about it here. And apparently due to a change in the way that Blizzard store character data, all characters have been wiped. This does obviously also affect gold, achievements, followers and artisans. So that kind of sucks for everyone playing in the beta right now. Achievements have once again temporarily been disabled, and players will now see recommended items for their character when accessing the auction house. It does work quite well. Other than that though, the options menu, the banner customization menu, the friend list UI, and a couple of others have been redesigned. They're looking much better now, much more complete. There are obviously tons of class changes that I won't be covering here, you can have a look at them in the patch notes below. And one interesting change was that the introduction of magical items into the game has been slowed. So that means you pick up blue items a little bit later in the game and I'm assuming you pick up less of them too. As I said previously, I really think that the game is nearing completion at a rapid rate. It's feeling more and more solid with every single patch they release, so I gotta say, they're definitely doing something right. If you want to read absolutely all you can about the Diablo 3 beta and patch 8, you can check a couple of extras below too. This includes a few observations about the patch, such as added lore journals, some tweaked audio samples, a couple more spoiler-filled pieces of concept art, and I will mention that these are the same pieces of art that we saw on the loading screens a while back just without the loading doodads on them. Then lastly and probably most interestingly, Bashiok spoke recently about the release date of the game and why it hasn't been announced yet. He said he'd just cut right to it and say that they don't have a release date yet because the game isn't yet where they want it to be in terms of their quality standards. So I guess that's an answer, right? Anyway, all of that and more can be found in the description below this video. Now next, and last up before heading into the smalls, yes, this is going to be a slightly lighter episode as there wasn't that much news to cover, we've got something really interesting. A Diablo 3 vs Torchlight 2 infographic. So this image takes many, if not most of the features from Diablo 3 and Torchlight 2 and compares them to each other. Things like the classes in the game, the enemies and monsters we'll be fighting, the ways in which you can play the game, both multiplayer, single player, online, offline, everything. They even go as far as to compare the modability of the games, the kind of PC requirements both games have, the companions are going to be using in said games and much more. I honestly think this is a great way of comparing games and I'd love to see it done with other similar titles. All of that said, I urge you to check it out. I personally will be playing both these games because hey, I just can't resist a good hack and slash. Big thanks to the guys over at Game Arena for setting this up. With all of that done, enjoy these Blizzard holiday images just before we head into the smalls. 
Okay, that's quite enough. Let's have a look at the smalls. First up in the smalls, read about Blizzard's currently ongoing contests. Check out the latest Guardian of Accounts art contest winner. Have a look at some new art and wallpapers. Some from the official sites and some from other sites. Have a look into the opening cinematic over at Diablo fans. Then you can read Leonard Boyarski interview over at Game Planet. Have a look at and perhaps participate in a giveaway that the guys over at Bliss Planet are doing. This one's for the Diablo 3 Book of Cain. There's a person claiming to be Deckard Cain the Elder from Diablo. I'm gonna leave this as sort of a mystery to you, but apparently his name was chosen to be used for Deckard Cain. You can read why below, and yes, he does seem to have sufficient proof. Then two podcasts, the Diablo podcast number 53 and Diablo cast episode 36. Check out some Diablo 3 beta power leveling, and this is actually just a couple of guys abusing a bug in the beta right now to get quick levels. Lastly, look at a couple of different poison dart rune effects. Sadly, that's all I have for you in the Diablo news this week. There are a couple of blue posts to have a look at below this video as well if you're interested. And remember to check back here soon for more. Like the video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Most importantly though, happy Diablo 3 Beta Patch 8. And those battle tags. Happy those too.